What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for joining me again on the series, How to Jump Rope Like a Ninja. So on today's video, we're gonna start to work in the tricks. You've learned how to become great at regular bounce. You've learned how to start getting that boxer rhythm and confidence down. Now it's time to start putting some tricks into place so that you can, you know, look awesome and impress people in public, you know. So guys, we have a lot of videos on different tricks that you can learn, and we're gonna link a lot of those up, but this video is really to talk about the four most important tricks that aren't just beginner, but are kind of like, they form the foundation of what it means to look like you're pretty good at jumping rope. What I mean by those tricks is running in place, side swipe, crisscross, boxer skip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so to start things off, run in place. Now remember, we have tutorials set up for each of these, but I want, I want to give you guys just a few short tips on each of these tricks so that you can take action and start practicing. Run in place is a very simplistic trick only because we're only alternating our feet, so it's a little bit above boxer skip. You're just going right, left, right, left. The upper body stays the same um, as it would for regular bounce, so honestly, guys, not a lot here is changing, and this is the move I would recommend trying to practice after you get done doing regular bounce. Next up guys, boxer skip. All right, so this is the one that we did a tutorial on yesterday. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Again, all we're doing is shifting the weight of our feet from our right to our left and tapping. Again guys, nothing fancy here. All the, all the form in our upper body stays the same because the regular bounce is what forms the basis for you to be able to do all these tricks and everything. So make sure, Zendu Nation, that you have the fundamentals down first. And look, if you have to watch this series five or six times, that's totally cool. That's why it's gonna stay up here. So so make sure you guys practice a lot of these moves and uh, just do the thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have side swipe. So be sure to check out the full tutorial on that if you haven't already. All I'm doing here is a right to left and then going back under myself side swipe. So it takes a little bit of practice, but all you're doing is just swinging the rope over to my right. See how my right hand folds over, then I bring it back around to the left and sort of do a little figure eight with my hands. It's a very tiny and subtle move, um, but that is allow it's what allows you to look super smooth as you're transitioning into other tricks. So the side swipe is good for not just doing it but also transitioning into other tricks as well the crisscross the mysterious crisscross besides the double under this is probably the, the move that most people want to learn and it takes a little bit of practice to get used to guys the best advice I can give you for this is when I'm doing these look how my rope stays tight the entire time the, the figure eight motion that I'm doing with my wrists is really what controls and allows the crisscross to happen think of putting guns into their holsters and then taking them out again so Check it out. When I cross, I'm putting the guns in their holsters. When I pull back out, I'm taking them out. And see how my wrists just do this nice little figure eight motion? That's all that crisscross is. So practice this, ladies and gentlemen. Do not get discouraged. Remember, you have to do the thing for a very long period of time and stay consistent before you can expect to be proficient in something. So don't give up, guys. Ask questions, uh, you know, post comments. We're happy to answer them. And make sure you go back through this series. Zendu Nation, I love you. I'm out. So guys, you've learned some tricks. You've learned how to get that rhythm down and be more confident, like I said. Now it's time to put it all together and create your own jump rope style. So in the next video, we're gonna be teaching you how to jump rope freestyle. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe. And also make sure to check out the next video in the How to Jump Rope Like a Ninja series, which is where we cover the jump rope freestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out.